Hello everyone, I got a request to make a video on functions but before doing functions we have to do the sets. What are sets? Introduction to sets. We have to first see what are sets. Set is a well-defined collection of elements, numbers or objects. Suppose we are taking the collection of the distinct letters A, C, E, H, I, M, S and T. So you have to be careful with three things. First, we should denote the set by the capital letter. As you can see that here, I have written capital M. So every set should be denoted by capital letter. Second, list its elements separated by commas as you can see from here i have separated each element a c e h i m s t all the elements are separated by commas third list members enclosed within small brackets so you have to put all the elements inside the bracket these are the three things you have to be careful with if i take the element a can i say that this is the member of m yes right because i can say that a is the member of m if i take i then can i say that it is a member of m yes it is also a member of m the letter a is the member of m and we can write it as a belongs to m this symbol is basically denotes you belongs to or is a member of or is an element of you can say any three things so if i say a belongs to m or a is a member of m or a is an element of m so this symbol denotes you belongs to on the other hand if i take the letter b is b a member of the set m no right there is no b here that means b is not the member of m so we can write it as b this is the symbol for belongs to and if you can cancel it out this one like this line this is does not belong to m so b does not belongs to m this is the symbol you have to show that if it is not the member of m the set M is said to be well defined. We can say that this is a well defined set because we can determine if any letter is a member of M or not. The D denotes the set of days in a week and it is a well defined set. Why we can say that the days of the week is a well defined set? Because days of the week are, I can put it in the bracket form. Monday, comma, Tuesday, comma, Wednesday, comma, Thursday, comma, Friday, comma, Saturday, comma, Sunday and bracket closed. As you can see from here, all the elements are separated by commas and they have put inside the bracket and this set has been denoted by a capital letter D. This is a well-defined set because I can count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I can count it. So it is a well-defined set of days in a week. If F denotes the set of the first 10 positive integers. Positive integers means you have tried on the set F is bracket 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is the set of first 10 positive integers and the bracket closed. This is also a well-defined set. We are going to see some special number of sets we have. The following is the list of some special sets. First, n is the natural number. What are natural numbers? 1, 2, 3, 4 is the set of all natural numbers and it keeps on going. Is the set of natural or the counting numbers. Second, z. z will show you the integers. Integers are positive also and negative also on the both directions. This will be dot dot dot. That means this will keep on going. Minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3 and keep on going. This is the set of all integers. If I take z plus z is an integer but i am taking only positive integers you are going to write 1 2 3 4 5 this is 1 2 3 4 5 these are all the set of positive integers if i take z negative that means i am taking negative numbers minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 and so on is the set of negative integers we have w what is w 
W is a whole number. Whole numbers includes zero also. So zero, one, two, three, four inside the brackets is a collection of positive integers and zero included that. This is the set of whole numbers. Next we have Q. What is Q? Q is a rational number. What are rational numbers? Rational numbers are written in the form of P by Q form like 1 by 2, 3 by 4. All these numbers are rational numbers which is denoted by Q. P and Q are integers and Q is not equal to 0 because Q is written in the denominator. If it is 0, then your answer will be equal to infinity. You can't calculate that answer. So this condition is must when you are writing the answer. Q should not be equal to 0. Next is R. R is the set of real numbers, which means that all the numbers can be placed on the number line. Number line, you can place 2.3, 2.4, 1.5, 0.2 to any numbers you can place on the number line. All these numbers will come as the real numbers. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment down below. Bye-bye everyone.